Hello to all of our friends in the Jewish Center of Teaneck community. I'm speaking to you today to encourage you to attend the rally along with myself in Washington, D.C. Uh, this coming Sunday, uh, July the 11th. Uh, there are free buses for Teaneck for those who register by the end of the day. Uh, I know there were many rallies uh, in Teaneck in recent weeks and months, but there really is no replacement uh, for a centralized national rally together with, God willing, many, many, many thousands of Achenu B'nai Yisrael and people of good faith from all walks of life. It's no secret that the sands are shifting underneath our feet. The rise in anti-Semitism, which has been documented from both the left as well as the ultra-nationalist right, leaves us in a position that our community has not faced in generations, and it is critical that we speak up at this time. It's not enough for us to celebrate every time a government official gives us more money for security funding and our schools and our schools become more and more like fortresses. We have to take a step back and say it wasn't always this way and it shouldn't be this way and it really can't be this way when anti-Semitism is fundamentally intolerable. And we need to do that on the steps of the United States Capitol because not only do we need to get the attention of our elected leaders but we also have to stand and protest against some of the forms of anti-Semitism that have emerged from elements within the capital itself in both directions, and to stand together as one community and to say, How can we remain silent, as Esther said, in the face of terrible hatred towards our people? Let us not be complacent in the face of this generational challenge. Rather, let us rise to the occasion. Let us go down to our nation's capital on Sunday to make our voices heard. And the consequences of not doing so are also very real. The elected leaders will take a message that the Jewish community itself isn't particularly concerned. And organizers of these kinds of rallies will be deterred from speaking out in the future if necessary because they'll say we aren't able to get people to come, even during the three weeks when there are no weddings or bar mitzvahs, or smachod, it's a perfect opportunity for all of us, everybody who's able to attend, to please come and do so in our nation's capital. Eis lachashos, there's a time for silence, but now, as Kohela said, eis l'daber, it is time to speak up, it is time for our voice to be heard. There can be zero tolerance for anti-Semitism in the United States of America.